The Aloha spirit is something that's way bigger than, than anything. It sort of transcends culture. On the one hand, is really about getting people to feel the island. If I can get people to feel good listening to our music or listening to any music that we produce, then I feel like I'm doing my job. It started with a vibe from you. Friendship first in my dream. When I first came to Tokyo to do music, my greatest fear was, what are my parents going to think? And, you know, I went to my, my father and I said, you know, I want to go do music in Tokyo. And he said, well, if you jump, the world will catch you. If you don't take that leap of faith, you're never going to know. Seeing something that is dangerous and not stepping into fear is a really important thing to be able to do. If you can stay in a state of unconditional love for life, then you're going to be way more active and you're going to be more creative and you're going to be doing these things that you normally wouldn't do, stepping out of your comfort zone to create something beautiful as opposed to being stuck in fear. To Ciela, my daughter, I've been teaching her that, to stay present, to not let the fears of the past or the future affect how we're acting now. The community of, of Iolani, I look back at the, the friends, the family, the, the, the teachers, the staff, everybody, giving the kids an environment to flourish. Trust and passion are important, but if the kid isn't in an environment where that can be brought to light, it's not going to happen. Feeling safe, feeling trust for your teachers, for your coaches, Iolani allows the kids to do that. As long as you're following your passion, if you're following what you really feel you need to be doing and that thing that you're doing is something you really enjoy, look out. I mean, the world can't stop you.